Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how you can use your camcorder or a DSLR uh, directly on your computer as a webcam. For this, you don't need, as in the title says, you don't need the new Elgato Cam Link. It's quite expensive, but you will need some sort of capture card. You, uh, I have the Elgato Game Capture HD. The advantage of using this method and not using the new Cam Link, first of all, a Cam Link is like, I think it's like $150 or something. But um, with this method that I'm going to show you today, all you need is like any old video capture card from like 10 years ago. So I have the Elgato Game Capture HD and the Elgato Game Capture HD came out in 2012. So that's eight, this is an eight year old capture card, but I'm using my webcam right now and it works. So what you need is your DSLR, your capture card, in my case is the Elgato Game Capture HD, an HDMI cable that can connect from your camcorder to a TV or just, and the end is a full HDMI. And obviously you need the USB port, the USB cable that correctly connects your capture card to your computer. Usually the HDMI cable and the USB come with a capture card. So if you still have them, then you don't need to buy anything else. Some optional things is like, you know, a tripod, the charger that your DSLR or camcorder came with, just so that you're not constantly on battery. As well as what I needed to buy is actually a, a mini HDMI to full HDMI adapter because my camcorder has only a mini HDMI out, but well, obviously you need a full HDMI and I only have a full HDMI cable which you need to connect to the, uh, the to the game capture. That's everything you need. Once you have everything you need, the setup is very easy and hopefully I'll make this video quick. Actually another thing I forgot to mention what you need, you just need to make sure that your camcorder or DSLR can output a clean HDMI signal. What I mean is like, this is my camcorder, how you can see me. You know how there's like a bunch of options on the screen that I can touch, like a photo, the autofocus settings. You need to make sure when you plug in an HDMI cable out and put it into like a TV or a monitor that none of this extra stuff shows up obviously because you don't want you to record a video with all this stuff showing it. So yeah, you need to make sure that it, upload, um, that it outputs a clean HDMI signal. So the first thing you need is you need your camcorder or DSLR and you want to find the HDMI out port. So as you can see, oh it's turning on. That, that is my HDMI out. And this is what I was talking about earlier. You, you notice how my HDMI out is a mini HDMI out? mini HDMI out. So that is why I had to buy in a mini HDMI out male to full HDMI female adapter. So the first thing you gotta do is get your HDMI cable. This is the adapter. This is not the actual HDMI cable and plug it into your HDMI out. And uh, this is the actual HDMI cable and the end of the HDMI cable goes into your capture card. So it goes into HDMI in. This is important. Make sure it goes into HDMI in. It can't go in HDMI out because this is outputting to like a TV or monitor. So yeah, again, HDMI out from your camcorder into the HDMI in on the Elgato. The next step is going to where it says USB on the Elgato and plug in uh, this, this USB cable, as I said before, usually comes with the capture card. So I don't have to buy it. Uh, but I think that's like micro USB. So yeah, plug it into that USB. There we go. So now it should look like this. So what you should have now is a camcorder with an HDMI going out of it into the HDMI in on the Elgato and a USB out going out of the Elgato. And now the final step is really just plug the end of the USB into your computer. So just plug it in to your computer. There you go. And once you have that done, like that's literally it. You're done. Again, as I said before, you can have a tripod. This is my setup. Um, in a in a bit, I'll show you what it looks like when it's fully set up on the tripod. And I also, uh, uh, this is my camera charger, which I have, will have constantly hooked up just so I'm not constantly on battery. And once you have that done, you're fully set. That's all you really need to do. And you might be even wondering what the purpose of this is. It's basically like, you know, a DSLR and a, and a cam camcorders, they're not webcam, so you, you can't, obviously plug them in directly to your computer via USB or something and then use the, you know use it as a webcam but with this you can um, but I think you can only really use it with the Elgato software so uh, that I'll show you how to do that in the next part of the video which is the software side um, but yeah the advantage of doing all this is basically using your DSLR or capture card which usually you would have to like transfer the video to your computer via like an SD card. But this, you can directly record your camcorder on your computer. I'm not even recording. I'm not hitting the record button on my camcorder. I'm just using it via my computer. So that's the advantage. This is pretty much a lifesaver. If you're a content creator, like the hassle of recording on your your camcorder or DSLR and then transferring over all the files, which takes a long time. This is very simple. You're really just, the files are already on your computer. So yeah, that's amazing. So now the video is pretty much done, but I'm gonna show you how to set up the software side, which is very easy as well. Okay, so now I'm on the software and the only unfortunate thing about this whole setup is you can't really use 
this setup with OBS or something, mainly because I, I tried it and it's a little buggy, like it's OBS creeps crashing and stuff. And but the biggest problem is that, you know how with the old Elgato, there's like a seven second delay. Well, that is pre um, that is obviously fixed when using its own software, which is what we're going to be using what we have to use. But when OBS with OBS and, you know, streaming programs it seems like it's not really that usable this using the game capture with obs mainly because of course there's like a seven second delay and two it just it keeps bugging out obs or obs keeps crashing and stuff so unfortunately what you do have to use which is still fine uh you have to use um the elgato software or the software that you know whatever capture card you're using if you have the I, forget, I even forgot what the other capture cards are, but basically, yeah, there you can see hi. Um, I, I'm, it's, I can see there's like a delay, right? Like I'm talking, but my the preview and the delay is not from the preview. The 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 capture card, the Elgato Game Capture from 2012 actually has this however many second delay, mainly because it's very old. So I'm gonna disable this preview because it's a bit weird and my trip trip me out, it's tripping me out. Yeah, so basically you just need to download the software and to set it up, like obviously this is gonna be different for everybody. So you just need to make sure that it's set up correctly, that it's not um, saying that you're recording on um, an Xbox or PlayStation, because I know this software can do that. So with these settings, like you can probably leave them, I think these are all, I disabled flashback and stream command mainly because these like really make use a lot of resources on my computer and just and it lags a lot. This stuff is like stuff that it doesn't even affect anything. It just show um, you can check how you want to export the video. This is not really important. You can set, assign hotkeys and honestly, I don't have this stuff. I'm not an expert on this particular software, but you can look up guides on how to do the settings. Now there's another settings that are you know specifically for the game capture. Uh, again, input device with game, well Elgato. There's a lot of things you can choose. Make sure you, you obviously choose other. And I'm recording in 1080p. I just click check that, but I don't think my camcorder. I don't think it works with 60 frames. The Elgato game capture. Uh, so I just uh, I spe oh, only with my camcorder. For some reason I, I I can't get it to record 60 fps, but I just did 1080 30. So just make sure I guess you have similar settings as as me. This I think I left it all at default pretty much. But yeah, like there's really nothing to set up in the software. You just have to you know download the the correct software that came that you know that is meant to be used with your capture card. And in this case, it's obviously the Elgato software. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. This is an update video because the video I made last time was way too long and i talked too much so if you have any other questions please leave them in the comments below or you can try to join my discord uh, which is linked in the description and go to tutorial help channel and ask me there and i definitely will answer you if you talk to me directly in the discord because i hang out there a lot so thank you guys so much for watching again if it's confusing feel free to reach out discord or in the comments and i'll, I'll try my best to help you out so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this helped you and peace out